Now that we're in version 1.2.1, I get comments from people all the time saying they're glad they did an update, or they're still in 1.1.2, etc. This made it clear to me that there's now a lot of players floating around in different versions of Tears of the Kingdom, so I figured I'd compile the best item duplication glitches into one video, so that way you know the best glitch to use for whatever version you're in. We'll start with every version before 1.1.2, so that's 1.0.0, 1.1.0, and 1.1.1. .1. These versions had three major item duplication glitches, but two of them weren't that great. One of those ended up actually being a transmutation glitch rather than a duplication glitch, and one was just pretty limited. The best one by far is midair sword duplication, and here's how you do it. Step 1. Shield jump in place, glide, or mount Minoru. Step 2. Pause in midair, or just pause if you're in Minoru. Step 3. Hold the item you want to duplicate. I went for these two diamonds. Step 4. Simultaneously press Y to sort and B to exit the menu. If done properly, you will have duplicated your items. It's super simple, just make sure you're pressing Y and B at the exact same time and you'll get this with 90% consistency. You can also use an offshoot method called Zonai Sort Duplication to duplicate your Zonai devices. Just stand a couple feet away from a wall, face the wall, then pause and try to pull out Zonai devices. Then just press Y and B simultaneously. This lets you duplicate up to 10 Zonai devices at a time. Midair Sword Duplication remains the best item duplication glitch we've ever had in Tears of the Kingdom. It's easy, you can do it anywhere, it works on items, creatures, and Zonai devices, and it's limitless. Now let's move on to version 1.1.2, also known as the last good version of the game. This version technically had a few item duplication glitches because for a good while there we were fusing items to weapons and then duplicating those weapons. But there is one true item duplication glitch for 1.1.2 and it's pretty fantastic. This glitch is called Unload Duping, but most people know it as the Tobio's Hollow Chasm dupe. Here's how you do it. Step 1. Go to Tobio's Hollow Chasm, shown here on the map. Step 2. Enter the chasm and follow the path down until the atmosphere changes to the depths. Basically, just walk down until you see fog pop in like this. At this point, I recommend placing a travel medallion so you can get back here easily. Step 3. Equip a multi-shot bow, attach whatever item you want to duplicate, and shoot it uphill. If done properly, the arrows will freeze in midair right where the atmosphere changes, so you'll use one item to shoot the arrow, but since it's a multi-shot bow, all of the arrows will freeze and drop to the ground with the item attached. So with a three shot like I have, you'll get an extra two items. You can shoot multiple times before running up to collect, just make sure you don't go above the item cap of 21 or they'll start disappearing. Also, if you're worried about bow durability, just grab any multi-shot bow and duplicate it using any of the 1.1.2 weapon duplication methods and you'll never run out of bows. This method is incredible. It's nearly as good as the old sort duplication methods since you can duplicate items very quickly. The only downside is it can't be done anywhere and you have to deal with bow durability. I'll also teach you how to do the inventory shift duplication glitch because it's the only way to duplicate creatures in 1.1.2. Here's how you do it. Step 1. Get off the ground and pause. Just like the old sword duplication glitch, you can do this by shield surfing, paragliding, or sitting in Minoru. Step 2. Find what you want to dupe and eat an entire stack of any food above that item. Step 3. Hold 5 of the item one slot to the left of the item you want to dupe. Step 4. Press minus to open the map and press minus again to close it. If done properly, you will have duped the item you wanted to dupe without losing the item to the left of it. There are so many caveats for this glitch though. You have to eat an entire stack of something in step 2 to leave a hole in the inventory like this, so you will lose some items that way. But if you have more than one, you can just drop the rest and pick it up when you're done with the glitch. You can also only dupe an item that you have less than 5 of, but again, you can just drop extras to bring you down to 5 and dupe a few more, but you'll still be held back by the item limit on the ground. This is worse than the Tobio's Hollow Chasm method in almost every way. The only benefit to this method is that you can dupe living things like fairies and creatures. Next up is version 1.2.0. Things are starting to look worse here, but thankfully we have two glitches that still allow us to duplicate most items without a limit. Our main duplication glitch for this patch is called Midair Throw Duplication, and here's how you do it. Step 1. Make sure you only have one of the item you want to dupe. You can just drop the excess on the ground. Step 2. Hold the item like you're going to throw it and walk or jump off a ledge. Step 3. While you're in midair, hold up on the d-pad and press X to drop the item you're holding. If done properly, the item will drop on the ground, but you'll still be holding one that you can throw, so you've now duplicated the item once. Now you just pick up one of them and leave the rest on the ground and repeat the process. This also works on Zonai capsules. This is a bit of a slow duplication method compared to the previous versions, but it's easy and you can do it anywhere. 
The biggest downside is that you're held back by the 21 item limit on the ground, but thankfully we have a workaround. This glitch is called dispenser storage, and here's how you do it. Step 1. Place a fan close to a Zonai dispenser opening like this and put something into the dispenser. That fan will hold the dispenser open even after you pick up the item. Step 2. Attach another fan to your first one at an angle like this. Step 3. Push the fans into the dispenser's opening and rotate it towards you twice. Step 4. Fill the dispenser with any items you need to store. If done properly, you will be able to store as many items as you want inside the dispenser. Now you just stand next to the opening and use recall on the fans to let the items out. Just make sure that you press A as fast as you can because once the items leave the dispenser, they do count towards that 21 item limit. So you need to pick them up quickly to keep any from despawning. As you can see here, I put 30 diamonds into the dispenser and got all 30 back. So between midair throw duplication and dispenser storage, you have limitless, albeit slow, item and zonai device duplication. The only thing we're really missing in 1.2.0 is the ability to duplicate creatures. And finally, we have our latest version, 1.2.1. This version came out pretty recently, so it's still possible that someone will find a better item duplication glitch, but honestly, at this point, I wouldn't hold your breath. So for now, we have the new version of midair throw duplication, and if you've seen my previous video on this, this is an updated and easier method. Here's how you do it. Step 1. Make sure you only have one of the item you want to dupe. You can just drop the excess on the ground. Step 2. Hold the item like you're going to throw it, and jump backwards off a ledge. Step 3. Hold up on the d-pad, then let go, wait a second, and hold up on the d-pad again. You want the menu to fully close and then reopen, and if you see Link's arm moved like this, then you know you did it right. Step 4. Release R, then close and open the menu again. If done properly, you should now have the drop option in the quick menu, so now you can just press X to drop and you will have duplicated your item. This is definitely harder than the previous version of this glitch, but it's still quite easy. You just need to get the timing down when closing and opening the menu to let the game advance a few frames between the menus. If you get the pop-up that says this item can't be taken out, that usually means you're too far away from the ground, so just try again. So this is basically just a slower and more difficult version of midair throw duplication, which is pretty unfortunate. The good news is, dispenser storage still works in 1.2.1, so we still have limitless item and zonai device duplication, it just sucks. I also want to mention here that I often get comments from people asking if a glitch works in previous versions, and I just want to say, 99% of the time, it does. The only major glitch that only works in one version is quick smuggling, and that's in 1.2.0. Aside from that, if you ever hear about a glitch working in a certain version, it most likely works in past versions too, and that also applies to these item duplication glitches. So for example, if you're in version 1.1.2 and you're wondering how you can duplicate Zonai devices, you can just do 1.2.0's midair throw duplication glitch to duplicate the capsules. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe, because if you don't, we may eventually get a version of TOTK that doesn't have limitless item duplication, and that's not a world I want to live in.